Are you wondering if moving to Lafayette, Louisiana could be the best decision you have ever made or is it something that you might regret? Well, I want you guys to stick around today because we're diving into the truth about living in Lafayette, Louisiana and by the end of this video, you'll know if it's the right move for you. Hey, if you guys don't know me, of course, I am Drake. I am your Lafayette real estate agent, and I've been helping families, young professionals, and retirees make Lafayette their home for years now. My channel is so full of videos and of what it's like to work, what it's like to live here and thrive in Lafayette. So if you have any questions or you're thinking about making that move, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you. So what is it really like to live in Lafayette, Louisiana? Well, I'm born and raised from here, so let me tell you all a little bit about it. Well, it's known for being rich in Cajun and Creole culture. We have incredible food. Man, the food has been raided uh, around the country and raved about here. It's really delicious. We have the best seafood. Our lifestyle is just so laid back. It's a very cool way of life with that touch of Southern hospitality that you're always looking for. Now, we have Zotico music, we have crawfish balls. You will never run out of, I think, unique experiences that you really won't find anywhere else in the world. Now, the city is really known for being friendly. It still has small town vibes, even though we have hundreds of thousands of people here. And we have a deep appreciation, I would say, for family and traditions. But it also offers the conveniences of a growing city, which is what most people, I think, nowadays are looking for. Now, what are the best and the worst things about Lafayette's housing market? Well, Lafayette's housing market really gives you a wide variety of homes. You have the charming historic properties all the way to like newer developments that are in suburbs just like places like Youngsville that are growing very very quickly or even Scott. Now the market can be really competitive especially in neighborhoods that are in places that have very highly top rated schools or even in some areas close to downtown with uh, very unique properties or even the Saint Streets. Some of those homes really offer a lot that people are looking for and they come with that price tag as well. Now prices uh, you can say are really relatively affordable especially when you compare it to the rest of the country uh, but like most places we have been seeing a steady rise over the past few years uh, with with prices of homes. It's just you know because of the supply and demand that we're constantly having and the housing crisis that we've seen has been going on forever we are going to continue to see home prices continue to rise as there's always going to be that need for more homes for families. Now what are the commute times uh, with with Lafayette and what's the traffic like? Well, uh, Lafayette has relatively, I would say, manageable traffic and the commute times are short compared to most larger cities, but residents do find uh, that where they can get where they need to be within about maybe 15 or 20 minutes to cross most of town. But I will say, because we are growing, uh, we do have uh, some traffic congestion. Certain areas like Am Ambassador Caffrey and Johnson Street, uh, Kali Saloon, those can all get really busy during peak hours, of course, in the morning on the way to commute or the way back home from work. Of course, if you understand which way traffic's flowing, uh, that always helps. You know, in the morning, people are coming into the city. Uh, when the afternoon, people are going out of the city, heading back home. So just keep those kinds of things in mind. It'll help you try to avoid some peak hours when traffic is at absolute worst. And then, of course, you know, the holiday season, people are out and shopping. And so that always does bring on more traffic uh, to the Ambassador Corridor or any of those shopping areas. How are the schools in Lafayette? And do they meet your family's needs? Well, Lafayette Parish really has a wide variety of highly rated public schools and there's also private schools. So Youngsville and Broussard are really particularly known for their excellent school system. So those areas, you can see why they've been growing so fast and why they've been very, very popular among the families in our areas. There are also opportunities for higher education in Lafayette. So, you know, we're known for University of Louisiana, which is UL of Lafayette. And it's a major asset, I would say, to our city, making us a college town it's got some great programs that are well sought after from around the country. We have a baseball program that's really highly well known and is very prestigious for the school. And our art program is also very well known without, around the country. So those are notable things about our education here. And of course, we have community colleges that you can also check out. SLCC being one of the more popular, bigger ones, it really still offer great education without feeling like you have to go the university price tag. Is Lafayette a good place for young professionals? 
professionals or retirees. Well, Lafayette, you can say, is really getting better prepared, I think, and it's getting a better scene for young professionals, especially in industries like healthcare, oil and gas, there's education. So there's plenty of jobs within those fields. And also the local business community is really starting to thrive. Places like downtown Lafayette are really giving you more of that lively social scene that people are looking for. There's all kinds of new restaurants and bars and shopping and all these different experiences that are all coming in now with that new revival of the downtown area. So we're really starting to see that part of Lafayette start to thrive like it did years ago. Retirees do love the warm climate and we also have a lower cost of living. So Lafayette really being that close-knit community can be very attractive to people who are looking to retire. They call them snowbirds. They come up from north and they come down here because our winters are very mild. Summers can be pretty brutal, but if you stay inside, that's not really so much of a problem. But there's also lots of outdoor activities, so people do enjoy that as well. So if your plan is to hunt and to fish and do things outside, well, then maybe being in the Lafayette area is going to be the right pick for you in your retirement. There's always something fun to do. We have festivals. There's outdoor activities, which are fun for the whole family in all ages. Just like this weekend, we have a festival Acadia that's coming up. And of course, their healthcare access also is very good in the area. We have two major healthcare systems that most people are familiar with. You have Optioner and we also have Our Lady of Lords. Now, what are the property taxes and the overall cost of living like in Lafayette? Well, Lafayette's cost of living is lower than the national average, so it makes it an affordable place to settle down. Now, property taxes, really, they're kind of reasonable, I would say, and the housing costs are lower, actually, compared to other parts of the country. Now, utilities and groceries also are relatively inexpensive, making it more budget-friendly option for many people. Even gas, I've noticed recently, our gas prices can be significantly lower than some other parts of the country. I was visiting up in Michigan and noticed that gas was almost a full dollar more than what we actually have here. So that's something also to keep in mind. What kind of outdoor and recreational activities can you expect? Well, outdoor enthusiasts really love Lafayette. Absolutely. Like I mentioned earlier, you can enjoy scenic swamp tours. There's fishing. There's different kind of hiking and walking trails, hunting, especially in places like Lake Martin or there's nearby state parks that you can go and check out, which are really fun for the whole family. But Lafayette is also really home to some of the most unique festivals, I would say, from around the world. We have Festival International de Louisiane, and that one is an international music festival that draws hundreds of thousands of people to Lafayette. It's a wonderful weekend, and it has such a huge blend of uh, unique cultures, music. There's so much great food. It's just a great time. Usually the weather's nice because it's spring, so uh, it's a great time to see Lafayette really come alive. Now, what do the locals say about the community and the lifestyle in Lafayette? Lafayette locals are incredibly proud of their Cajun and Creole heritage and you can feel that with the community because it's a huge part of our life. You'll often hear people talk about the joie de vivre or the joy of life that permeates within the city. Now people love the slower pace of the life that also comes here and the food scene is second really to none and I, I would challenge the whole world maybe the country but residents say it's really easy to feel like a part of the community in Lafayette and people just enjoy the friendliness of the people despite it being a city that's growing most people I think you know do as the locals do and get to know people and be kind and friendly but what are the challenges or the downsides of living in Lafayette that people don't want to talk about well one of the challenges of living in Lafayette is the risk of flooding in certain areas I mean especially during heavy rains or a hurricane season so it's important to do research you want to know about flood zones and understand when you're looking at homes what those mean what is flood zone X what is flood zone A? What does AE mean? A real estate agent like myself can really help educate you and help you make a better decision. So you're not finding yourself as at risk or with too high flood insurance based on the location or the elevation you might be at. Now, while public transportation is limited, most residents, we would say, rely on cars. It's fair to say that you'll probably need a car to get around. We do have bus routes and things within the city that you can get around. So that, of course, is an option, but there's no things like train systems or anything of that nature. I 
would highly recommend that you get a car because I do think that's an essential part of really getting around the Lafayette area. Now, I know moving to Lafayette can be such a big decision and it really depends on the unique lifestyle and your personal preference that you have. So if you want more detailed insights on Lafayette, be sure to check out my other videos. And if you're ready to take the next step or if you have some questions or you just want to know about real estate here, reach out to me directly. I'd love to help you with your move to Lafayette. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Lafayette or just exploring your options here, don't hesitate to give me a call or just send me a text message. I can respond pretty easily that way. I've helped so many people find the perfect home and I would love to do the same for you. So be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Lafayette real estate tips and I'll see you guys in the next video.